All right, what's up guys? We're back for another ESPN MIC highlight reel. You know we do these every single week. I got to bring the energy for you guys to see what the hell happened, what's going on, and just basically everything in a nutshell. And while Alex was out a couple days due to personal stuff, uh, it was kind of a short week for him, but I'm going to show some bow examples. I'm going to show everything. So check this out. If you have any questions, because maybe you like something you listen to this video and you're like, hey, maybe MIC is pretty cool. Text 213-458-5997. I will also show you at the end how to book a call on the website. But let's uh let's dive into this. So, okay, so we're on Monday, November 28th. Welcome to December, the last month of the year. Christmas coming up, but we're back in November, and it's November 28th, and we are talking about Monday. So the stock on radar actually, actually, believe it or not, was TBLA and Alex was talking about it. So let's actually go to the daily, let's go to the 20-day chart. And obviously, that's going to be this day right here, guys. You could just see the date right here as I kind of scroll. And it's the first day up, right? So as Alex is writing this, it's around this time in the morning. It totally looks like a hot chick. So potential hot chick so far was waiting for a death candle or a signal that it's broken a short. Ignore it on the front side of the move as a short. So when this thing is up pre-market and it actually puts in a really nice top, this is where the live commentary is so important, guys, and not just reading the watch list because that's updated you know price action gets updated so in the beginning he's keeping you safe and then we go in the chat room and he's definitely keeping you safe so alex comes in let's bring up the chart and alex did exactly what process entails guys so let me kind of move this over and what you're going to see is he used the three line which is really key in this whole and half dollar numbers you know it puts in this massive stuff and then you just basically wait for that stuff to happen. You wait for topping to happen. You wait for a death candle to happen. One of those, exactly like Alex said, wait for a top. Then obviously MIC process is now hit that pop where that top failed. So it's really, really key that you identify this. And and Alex had a really good hold on this. I was, I was actually really surprised by his patience on this. It was really good. So really key. Uh, I think Alex made like six grand on this. Just awesome. You know, a lot of, a lot of volume, a lot of range in this stock, a pretty decent amount range for um for some size starting off the week with a solid winner waiting waited for tbla to top out then shorted the bounce unfortunately covered before the big meltdown but profit is profit and hey man you know if there's some dead wood on the table it's all good that's just part of the game and i wanted to showcase what the members are doing because guys this is what happens when you have a banger watch list every single day is the members are going to you know take heed of that and 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 a lot of them are going to use it as a guide and also uh just kick ass so i love this po was talking about tbla i got stopped out in the open but then re-entered on the stuff guys this is the most important thing about trading is risk management if a trade doesn't go your way because you're too early you revenge trade whatever you do you play counter trend you can always cut it and get back in Remember, I'm going to showcase some losses every now and then, but then it turned into a nice winner. So you guys have to understand how important it is to kind of like whip yourself in the moment to then re-attack when you, you just punish yourself really quick with a hard stop. You have to do it instead of punishing your entire account, never using a hard stop, and then you get blown out of the water one day. Nobody likes blow-ups. So a quick little punishment and then back in the game and take accountability and whoop some ass. Um, D L I E U, uh, bounce baby bounce. I love this guy's name. It's the best. Uh, wait for the top. I know he got a little over eager on the, uh, the FOMO right here. You guys got to wait for those bounces, but I still thought this was really good, especially somebody who's actually a long trader now using Alex's commentary and watch list to learn how to short sell. How sick is that? Um, let's also talk about Naughty Larry TBLA. Dude, uh, members are using the watch list. This is, that's as simple as it is. Freaking awesome job. Um, we come into David and David's doing exactly the same thing. Uh, you know, using the three line, wait for the stop out guys. This is the watch list. This is exactly how Alex traded it. This was the exact edge that you need to be pay paying attention to. And this is what you pay for being an MIC member, 100% edge and mentorship and guidance and coaching and warnings and everything. TBLA, Ibrahim. I mean, this ain't rocket science guys. And then Steven every now and then will, I'm totally shouting at the computer, but you guys can hear my passion behind this. Look how sick this is, dude. D20, one of our lifetime members, is getting so damn good. I'm almost ready to have him just trade all of our accounts. Like, I'll just go on autopilot, man. Hey, trade ours too. Like, look at all these wins to lot. Guys, that's unbelievable. So this is the power of the community. This is the power of the club. And it, it, I mean, I don't know how it would get any better than that, honestly. 
So we're coming in Tuesday. Alex says $600. Weird day today with no borrows, but DBGI couldn't get any size. Everything was too expensive. This happens in trading from time to time, guys. It's just part of the game. But the watch list plan on DBGI worked perfectly again so the two days that alex did trade this week like i said he was mostly out just due to personal stuff which isn't usually the case guys alex is usually here almost every single day the two days he traded he still for this week made 60 6600 bucks around there that how sick is that so let's check this out he goes and let me go to the exact date so that's the 29th he goes and this is a low hanger guys this is exactly what we look for on the day previous where it gives back a lot of gains whether it's day one or just the day previous looks like backside is in the move absolutely you know the macro trend backside micro we want the pop right so we'll be looking for a major basically saying a micro you know versus the macro major ssr bounce two seven seven twenty seven fifty 720 line skill and short guys it does just that and uh I, I just again i don't know how it gets any better than that alex used that got that morning pop and he was actually done by this pop but he got the morning pop that he wanted scaled in and uh took the meat of the money because i mean that's a lot of range of volatility right there and uh you could have hit it again still as per the plan and made some money but it's that first it's that first banger right there it's that first pop that's the real money maker let's kind of see what some members did on tuesday a couple people want to showcase um, let's see, let me zoom in real quick. Rockmon, awesome job on Cosm. Uh, I love this, you know, puts in tops. He uses the pops, covered himself on the washes. Really, really nice job. Vindy Bo, DBGI, outer lines, watch list plan. Enough said. Uh, Ibrahim on VIVK, something tops out, waits for the pop back to outer lines, covers on the wash. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that, guys, seriously. Um, I'm probably going to say that throughout this whole, you know, short webinar. But uh, Naughty Larry on Kala, awesome, awesome job. Um, not much you can do but chase on something like this because it's so weak. We're, we talk about this all the time in MIC, guys, where you never want to chase, but there's very, very few exceptions because something is so dang weak. So this was really nicely handled uh naughty larry on kala great job and again another shout out to a member i think i think it's it's pronounced Ilya, but Ilya, man or woman i actually don't know uh because they don't have a profile picture out there but the art but Ilya, oh my god a hundred percent win rate for the month of november like again guys again like this story writes itself man seriously uh, Alec, Bao was sick on Wednesday, guys. Obviously, I gave the new member orientation webinar. We did full podcast with Steven, State of the World, what's happening, investing techniques, uh, different styles of trading. It was a banger. So every single Wednesday, we do a new member orientation webinar at 2 p.m. Eastern. And it's open to the public. It's free to the public, guys. So make sure you show up next week. Um, Bao and Alex were both out, but check this out. I want to showcase a couple members on Wednesday. as It was a little bit slower, but check this out. So Irvin coming in with a perfect stop on a front side move and every now and then i'm going to showcase a nice stop because part of this game guys is stopping the hell out when you need to and then here you know and here's the opposite you know here's delu uh, bounce baby bounce doing a wonderful job hot hot chick stock uh, wait for the support wait for the drop don't be chasing you know wait for the nice drop to support level or a line uh he longs it and basically it's you know that's like the first bounce guys a great freaking job on support and then danny just doing exactly what trend entails on manu m-a-n-u and following the trend down you know red to green it uh it just couldn't make it through fails back down and follows trend down fantastic job so that that was wednesday now let's go to all right we're back in december let's now, this is yesterday, guys, so we're back in December, and this is the watch list, although Alex wasn't trading, but I wanted to kind of show you a couple trades Bao was taking. So let me pull up Armed real quick. <laughs> Dude, Bao is an absolute phenom, guys. Like, look at how much he does, right? Okay, so this is actually the day, because that's today. This thing went crazy after hours. Isn't that nuts? And that was yesterday. But if we go in, let me actually just zoom in so you can't see the after hours because that'll heighten all the volatility. Is what you see, guys, is Bao uses the whole and a half dollar, you know, lines and levels. So 350 is what he was looking at here. Covers on the wash. Then he hits the pop back because he's pretty patient. Hits the pop back where it failed before. That's what we teach into the outer lines. Awesome job. And then hit the pop back based on this one. So just a really, really, really good job on uh, Armed. Let's take a look at Vapo. 
Um, these all sound like acronyms, right? Like ticker symbols. It's really funny. So Vapo is a stock that's like super, super hot chick until it tops out with these death candles. Bao does exactly that using the 150 line. And then he just uses the absolute channel that is so easy to identify all day. Plain and simple, super, super effective. Um, AMC, which is always talked about because we got the meme stocks cracking. But Bao did it exactly Again, guys, what he does on every other chart. Hole and half dollar number, he's using nine. He's using the nine line on a parabolic that meets there, pays himself on the wash, hits the pop back up to where it failed before using the base of these candles, and then hits the hits the another try. Like, you guys have to understand how simple and straightforward this can be. You just have to know how to scale correctly, scale out, and use risk management. But you guys are getting this. I know you're getting this because a lot of our members' charts are looking exactly like bows. So, again, he's using the four line, hole and half dollar for this first uh, parabolic up, seeing if it fails. It did, paid himself on the way down, followed it down, and used the pop back. Plain, sexy, and absolutely simple. Here was the watch list for today, Friday, at the time of recording this. It's Friday night. Um, but I'm going to actually just go into some bow trades because Alex didn't trade today. So hold on one second. SHPH. Crazy stock today, right? Crazy runner. So we had something front side. Um, you know, Bao was scaling, obviously, these levels. I know that he started hitting in here, even though it wasn't exactly a whole and half dollar line, like a 250, but he was using these stuff most previous. So, and, and here's what you do on the front side, guys, because I know Bao probably got a little FOMO on this. You pay yourself on the washes. So if you're not sure that it's going to break down, this is what you do. You pay yourself immediately, and then he scaled back, paid himself, and then this is where this second half is where Bao really shines. If he gets caught a little on the front side, I don't think he was caught, but caught off guard a little bit versus like caught in the stock. So you can mitigate, uh, get out for a small loss or a break even, you know, manage those positions well. And then the second half, just annihilate it. And that's a, uh, that's professional trading. Sometimes the stock is just, you're going to have to bully it a little bit and it's not the easiest thing in the world, but you can do it. So again, I love this one because Bao absolutely top tick nailed. Um, really, really nice job. Really nice job. Uh, ABXL. That was, that was Cosm. Let's pull up AVXL. That was the king of top ticking. This was such an interesting stock, right? So you have a stock that's really, really parabolic and really volatile during pre-market, and it absolutely gets cratered pre-market. Craters way more come the open, and then Bao did exactly what you should do, follow the trend down. And I know he was like um, getting in here and then he covered himself on this first wash right here, that first little money maker. Hit back here thinking it would fail again. Probably got a little stuck just a little bit in here and then totally, you know, scaled correctly and averaged out the whole day and probably a really nice win. I don't know his PNL on that, but I'm, I'm sure he absolutely killed it. So, you know, just really good job. And then let's see what the members were doing. So the members, David on XPEV, let's pull this up real quick. Uh, let me zoom in. David on XPEV. So try, try the short on the front side, stopped out. Just guys, what, what more can be said? A really good stop. Love it. Uh, Hooper X, which is the king of following trend and outer lines. Again, AVXL hit the pop back on a broken stock that fails before. Really nice job. He was actually trading pre-market, so really nice job. Uh, Hooper X again, this is the most, th these are the two examples, right guys? Like you follow the trend down that's broken or you wait for the outer lines on something that's already too broken and you don't want to chase and that's what Hooper did on T Tilray, T-L-R-Y. That is so freaking beautiful. Um, let's go in here. Prob. If I'm saying that correctly, Prab H, Prab H, uh, Armed, really good job. You know, the stock kind of sets up a channel. Um, you know, here's what happens though. He's actually longing it. So in this, he's not shorting the channel. He's actually kind of using these channel lines of support. And I think he stopped out on the first one, which he explains, but then guess what he did? Exactly what any red blooded trader would do. He's like, I'm not done with this. It's holding. It's doing what I want now. Let me reattack this. And he did a really good job of that. Um, Diego, exactly the same, but different, right? Except like using the channel for the base. Uh, he's using the channel resistance lines in the middle right here, which I loved. And I kind of wanted to highlight as kind of like that contrast and and uh, pol polarity. So, you know, in the beginning, using these parabolics into it, kind of using exactly what Bao was doing. But then I'm telling you right now, guys, it's it, it's exactly that second part of the day, kind of like what Bao did, is once that channel set, you just got to keep using it until it doesn't work. And Diego did a really good job uh, there, even if the first was a stop, you know, which it could have been. You can always reattack, right? So that's the whole point of saving your day, guys. I love that. Let's show you a couple things. 
So this is our this is our chat room, guys. This is our Slack platform. This is where everything happens within MIC. Uh, you have a watch list channel. We take what's in the watch list channel to the main trading chat. This is where live commentary happens. This is where fills happen. Every now and then you get like occasional networking or you get occasional um, jokes or memes. But this is where the commentary, the warnings, the mentorship and the guidance happens. And people can post really fun stuff and really cool stuff. But it's mostly business. That's why we have the after hours channel for fun and jokes and networking and mostly jokes and it's some more networking and it's it's a good time and we even clown on each other i think uh I think one of the mods, you know, was talked about how uh, his videos were boring, which is obviously just a joke. But, you know, this is like a ambient noise, like put me to bed thing, Tom Diesel's videos. That's hysterical. It's just a joke. Tom Diesel's a wonderful educator, but that's just, it's so funny, guys. That's what networking is. Large cap and options room. If you're not a small cap trader, we got a room for you. I love that. I just sent my dad that the other day. And then uh, we have a swing trading room for you guys down here. So small caps right here, large caps and large cap and options, after hours network. Working. and then um and then we have swing trading down here guys then dms down here you can edit your profile it's a really good time mic is a lot of fun guys let's go to our website real quick so the video library and most of the education is actually found on myinvestingclub.com so let's go there real quick All right, guys, so we're on our company website, myinvestingclub.com. A couple things I just want to show you real quick, guys. There's a dashboard right here where if you click this and you're already signed in, which I just did, I'm just going to allow access. Uh, what you're going to be able to see is that this is kind of like the motherboard for all your things. Obviously, welcome to Bradley 90, you know, go to MIC, go to the video library. These are uh, quick links, hyperlinks, and then we can also do video library. So there's a couple things I want to show you in here. This is where most of our watchable um content is where you can learn how to be a trader and uh and it's just it, it's a lot of fun so you know we've got a search feature guys we've got like a full roadmap right here endless pages of content literally 161 pages crazy and then alex's live trades this is huge so alex put on a like a new live trading series where he records a lot of his live trades guys and then what he'll do is we'll send it to the editing team put it to music put it to commentary and he's gonna he's gonna basically commentate and annotate or the editors will <laughs> at least what is happening in the trade at the time that he took it he's gonna full-on show you what the live recording what he was thinking uh now um you know obviously another live recording then we just dub them on top of each other and this is a way for you to see what was going through his head at the time of that it's just such good mentorship guys there's nothing like it this is exclusive to lifetime members but if you want to watch the first one free obviously that's included to the open public kind of like um like the new member orientation webinar the first one so i think it's just something to pay attention to guys it's really cool and then the last thing i want to show you in the website here is text 213-458-5997, my personal business line, or you can book a free call with me. So if you guys have any questions, if you wanna book a call, you wanna set up a time, you wanna make sure MIC's for you, 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 you wanna make a confident decision, you wanna read all the reviews from Trustpilot, from all of these different avenues, guys, this is gonna be the way to go, and uh, you're just gonna see if MIC's for you, and, and you're gonna have the confidence to uh, maybe or maybe not pull the trigger, but I hope that after talking with me and seeing some of our videos and seeing what the community looks like, you will be confident in the decision that MIC is probably, I know I'm biased, probably the best place to learn on the internet, hands down 100%, Michelin star, three times, five plus, you know, five star resort, um, you know, community that's going to teach you how to how to become a, you know, a consistent day trader. And that's what we're all about, guys. So at the end, I know I always do this, even though I don't, I, look, I don't even need a calculator. It's, it's always tradition to bust out the calculator. But as you guys can see, um, I, I could just add them up like this. Alex made 6,600 this week. Awesome freaking job. Um, you know, guys, this is, this is a slow week for, he didn't even trade half the week. So if you want to learn how to do exactly what we do at MIC and specifically Alex, cause he's your main educator, come on down, book a call, text my line. And guys, we will see you next week for another ESPN MIC highlight reel.